Hey guys, so um, I got asked a few questions off uh, Nicole Hasberg. Um, I think that's how you say your last name, I'm not quite sure. But um, uh, you wanted to know how to stop your dogs from um, jumping up on you and from biting your hand. Um, well, basically, well, your dog's nine months old, it's a golden retriever. Um, they are the best dogs, but I, um, what I wanted to say is that to stop your dog, knowing your golden retriever from bite, from biting your hand is pretty easy and pretty simple. Um, you just got to teach your dog that hands are for licking, not for biting. Um, it's probably play biting, but still, um, there are two different methods. There is one where, um, where you can freeze a block of um, butter and then what you do is after you freeze it excuse me after you freeze it you uh, rub it on your hand and then you let the dog lick it off so um, that's one way um, and then that teaches your dog that hands are for licking not for biting and there is another way if your dog is teething right only if your dog is teething um, if your dog's biting your hand, you can remove their their um, their mouth from your hand, and then you can give um, give them a toy to bite on. All right. Um, but yeah, so there's a way with a punishment, which which is removing them from your hand, or there is a way with no punishment, which is teaching them to lick. Um, but you know, each their own. You can choose what you like. Um, uh, and you also want to know how to stop your dog from jumping. There is also a couple of different methods, but the way I've found out are the best is two of them. There's one where you can get a water bottle. Um, when your dog jumps on you, you squirt the water bottle down on him. That's the punishment for um, jumping up on you, the squirt of water bottle. And um, there's also one that I found to be very ex well, extremely effective is when your dog jumps on you, you grab its paws, and it's not hurting the dog at any point. It's not hurting the dog. It's just a, it's just an uncomfortable spot for it to be. In. So you hold its paws and you wait till it struggles. Then when it struggles, um, but, sorry, then you grab its paws and you say down. And once it starts struggling, put it down. And then if it does, and then um, if it does, and then once it keeps doing that. And then once it stops jumping, you keep on rewarding the not jumping policy. So there's got to be a rule. There has to, so in both there has to be a consequence and a sorry you can't really see. You have to be there has to be a consequence and a reward. Consequence for doing the wrong thing, reward for doing the right thing. Um, and you know you can choose what you like. Um, I just wanted to help you out with this and I have just realised that you've done the the Venus painting. Um, I've uh, Zach George's Venus's Zach, Zach, Zach George dog Zach George's dog Venus. Um, I have to say it was extremely impressive. You are a good painter or drawer or whatever you used. But um, you are good. Um, but, uh, thank you for asking me that question, um, and I just thought I'd help you out with this. Um, but yeah, so choose what method you like, um, but I can guarantee you all of them do work. Um, the ones I've found to be most effective for the biting one would have, would have to be the, uh, Butter and one for the um, the uh, jumping one would have to be the grabbing of the paws, um, but you know different dogs um, take to different things. So your dog might be um, your dog might learn faster if you spray the water on it when it jumps, um, or your dog might um, learn to not bite if you give it a toy. Um, but you know each to their own. Dogs are different. Choose what's best for you. And yeah. So, um...
which method would you take? Alright guys. Alright, um please comment on this if you like it. Tell me if you want me to do more of these, um, by a message. And um if you have got any questions, leave in a comment. You can tell me on my um, Facebook page. And yeah. Alright. See you guys, talk to you later.